It's Friday and you're watching Auto News Now. I'm Kristen Strakalaitis. Let's get straight to your afternoon headlines. Renault Group is considering selling part of its 43% Nissan stake. This is a move that could raise billions of euros for its shift to electric vehicles as the company considers a break and separate listing of its EV business. It could also ease long-standing tensions with its alliance partner. Nissan itself might be willing to buy some of the 1.83 billion shares in the Japanese automaker that Renault owns. This was said by people who asked not to be identified. Honda Motor Company is planning to slash production by about 50% at one Japanese factory. The automaker is saying on Thursday that the chip shortage and COVID-19 lockdowns are causing two lines at the Suzuka factory to scale back output in early May. Honda adding that, quote, uncertain geopolitical affairs have caused delays in logistics and parts delivery. The plant produces components for the Fit N series mini vehicles, as well as components to Honda's overseas factories in 27 nations, according to the company's site. And to wrap things up, Tesla CEO Elon Musk says he's secured $46.5 billion in funding for a takeover of Twitter. Musk filed with the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission Thursday. It details $25.5 billion in debt financing from Morgan Stanley and other financial institutions. More than two-thirds of that is either coming from his own pocket or borrowing against his Tesla shares. The financing is about $9 billion more than what he would need to acquire the 91% of Twitter he does not already own. This is according to Bloomberg calculations, suggesting he's giving himself room to increase the offer if it comes to that. The higher price would be more appealing to Twitter's investors if he moves ahead with a tender offer. That was said by Bloomberg intelligence analyst Mandeep Singh. That is our time for today. Thank you so much for joining us and have a great weekend and we'll see you right back here Monday.